Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have a pick a card reading for you guys. We're going to find out how your person is currently feeling about you, okay? Um, so I have three piles here. Pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. I want you guys to think about your person. Take a few deep breaths, close your eyes, and when you open your eyes, the first pile that you're drawn to should be the one for you. Um, if you need more time, please pause the video. So let's get straight into this with pile number one and find out how is this person currently feeling about you. Okay, so I'm definitely getting that there's this defensive feeling about this person, okay? So they're feeling very defensive here um, towards this connection. Like, they really, they want to go after this, but I'm getting that, like, you guys are not communicating here, pile number one, okay? They want to communicate here with you, um, but this person could be juggling, not going to lie. They're also very stuck in their um, ego here, okay? Um, it's like they don't really see what they're doing, Um but they, there's definitely another option. And if there's not another option, this could have been like past energy. There was another option. This person's not talking to you at the moment, okay? They're, they may be pretending that they're happy, okay? This is their ego talking. They really want to talk to you. But this person's in this um very, like, they're watching you. As I said before, defensive mode. Like, they're watching you, um, you know, spying on you, I'm hearing. But it's like they're not making any movement towards you they're just watching your every move here i'm hearing um you literally may not even know that this person's into you because they could be with somebody else they could just be watching you not saying anything about this um but you're this person's wish fulfillment and i am getting that this person hadn't even like told you anything like this person may not they could be in a relationship or they could already be seeing somebody they could literally be married okay for some of them um and, like, this person, it's like they feel like it's wrong. Like, they two, two, two on the clock, okay? So, they feel like it's wrong, like, to feel this way about you, even though they can't control their feelings. But they're trying. They're trying to control their feelings. They're trying to control the connection by not moving forward because, again, they feel like they're seeing somebody else or there's somebody else in the picture and they feel like it's the wrong thing to do. You may have been, like, you know, really into this person, but you're, like, losing hope here. Yeah, this person, they don't show that they're single, okay? And even if they do show that they're single, like, this person has other options that they post with. They, you know, definitely other options here, right? Like, this person, you're not really sure if they're single, to be very honest, because definitely they don't act single. There definitely could be a marriage here, a long-term commitment that this person, they have, like, it's like they want to leave it, but I'm saying they're having a hard time letting it go. They could have some type of soul tie with this person, right? You could be dealing with a Leo, you could be dealing with a, um, Aquarius, you could be dealing with a Taurus, um, or a Libra here. I'm hearing macaw in my head, and I don't really know if that's a name. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a bird. I don't know. Let me know if that uh, resonates for you, though, pile number one. So this person, they've actually been guided, okay, to make a decision here, pile number one, okay? So... Again, they have a lot of feeling here for you, but they're showing you nothing and they're also acting unavailable. Um, and I'm getting that you don't want to be in this, like, third-party situation. Like, you do like this person, you want things to go to the next level, but you're not about to, like, be in a third-party situation, you know what I mean? Or somebody take a choice. This person, it's like they know they have to make a choice, but they won't. They literally just continue to not make this choice, avoid this choice. A part of them feels like, okay, so this could be like a twin flame situation. It doesn't have to be, but it definitely could be here, okay? 
um, where this person feels such a strong connection to you, pile number one, um, and they feel all these emotions here towards you, and they know they have to make a decision, and you make them feel like love and happiness, but they're very guarded because they feel like they really need to work on themselves here, and that's what's stopping them from actually making the decision to leave this other person or to go towards you, right? But spirit trying to, like, make them decide now. Like, they need to make a decision. Either they're going to be stuck with this other person that they don't seem to be happy with. They seem to be trying to leave this person, but, like, they feel like this person has a hold on them, pile number one. Um, or they either leave that person and go towards you, you know, 555 on the clock, and they, they feel a strong connection. They feel like that this is definitely something that they've never experienced before, this feeling. Yeah, again, this person continues to hold on. It's like this person could leave this third party situation, okay? Um, and part number, part number one, I am picking up a certain story with a third party situation. So if this is not the part for you, go choose another one. But um, like this person will leave, right? Their third party, this person they're not happy with, and then they go straight back. And it's like they're not happy there though, like and. It shows, like, they know they're not happy, everybody else knows they're not happy, but yet they'll still go back, and this keeps them stuck in, like, a routine here. There's definitely a soul tie here, okay? So, this person may not be aware of this soul tie. Yeah, okay, so this is the twin flame journey for some of you, okay? And this person really feels like they need to work on themselves, okay? They could be working on themselves, um, because they want union here with you, okay? But they definitely want... It's like, oh, this person's got two choices, Okay? This, or this, and they won't choose, and this makes them really happy, but they're scared to lose this, right, they're scared, this person's scared of change, okay, this person, okay, they, they know, it's like they know that, like, yeah, they're going to be 100% happier with you, pile number one, but they, they continue to stay stuck in this toxic, codependent, karmic relationship for who knows why, like, because that's how... I'm just getting the vibe where, like, people feel like, why do they keep going back? Or, and, like, things like that. And they have this beautiful opportunity here with you, pile number one, but, like, they just, they're not doing anything about it. They're like, oh, what should I do? You know what I mean? And they need to make a decision. And it's like, they haven't really... <laughs> they haven't really, like, tried to take things to the next level here with you. Because they feel like it's wrong. Again, they feel like they're attached to this other person. That, like, they don't... They want to take things to the next level. But they also are very, like, guarded. And, you know, a little bit hesitant to come forward. Because they're stuck in this soul tie, okay? Or this karmic situation here. Oh my gosh, look at this. We've got the king and the queen of pentacles. Like... They know they're meant to be with you. They want to be with you. They feel this with you. Like, they're ready to, like, literally... They want union. This person's been working on themselves as well. Like, they're healing. They are literally longing... Like, they stay stuck in this third-party situation, pile number one. And they long to be with you. That's what they do. That's their life. This person, okay, um, they actually come off as very stable, though. Like... You may be very confused because they come off as very stable, emotionally in control. Um, they're very concentrated on their money, okay? They also are... It, there's a sense to them, okay? Loyalty is very important. So if they are married or in another, like, commitment, okay? Loyalty is really important and um, they're not the type of person that's about to be unloyal. And they feel like what this situation, if they did, you know, speak to you and everything, that they would... Be unloyal because, you know, they feel like they can't let go of this other person because they're not realising they're having an actual soul tie with this person because they want to leave, it's toxic, it's codependent, they're not happy, um, other people around them, like family members and uh, friends also tell them that, you know, what are you doing? Um, but this person just, they, sometimes they leave, like I'm getting, they fight a lot with their karmic and, you know, sometimes they leave but they always go back. This person, they keep taking steps, like, it's like, they feel this connection, okay, they're even trying to heal themselves, meditate, everything, right? But in the 3D, they keep taking steps back, 
right? Um, not steps forward towards the union. Step like they step back from the union. Yeah, so they're definitely, oh my god, this person's obsessed with you, like, they're over there, like, longing to be with you, obsessing over you, like, wanting to be with you and not doing anything about it because they feel bound to this other person. Sorry, part number one, the video cut off there, um, so I'm gonna finish off your reading here, usually I would just, like, you know, take that as a sign from spirit to finish, but I'm gonna finish your reading here, part number one, and find out... This person, okay, again, they have a lot of feelings here for you, but they're very, like, defensive with these feelings. They, it's like they're holding these feelings. They don't want to let you know. Some of these um, people actually have children, and they feel like that if they did come forward, um, they'd have to ruin, like, a happy family. So for, for the ones that are, ha like, they do have children, they feel like that they want to put their children's happiness first, okay? They feel like it would be selfish to come, even though they love you. And want to be with you part number one they feel like it would be selfish to their children to leave up like leave their children okay um so it's like they're fighting that at the moment okay they're fighting that they feel like that they can't go um after what they want because they're going to ruin like a happy family here yeah it will cause a lot of conflict that's why they're not like they want to come forward and let you know how they're feeling part number one but they're not because they don't want this conflict, okay, so it may look like, you know, this person's being selfish, like, you know, you feel a strong connection to this person, but this person really feels like they, especially if they have children, that it would be unfair, um, and if then they don't have children, and they're just in, like, a, a um, marriage or a long-term commitment, they feel like it's not fair to just leave this person and go for, like, you, like, even though, their heart is with you, they just feel like that it's not fair, right? Um, but yet they can't stop thinking about this brand new beginning here. They're staying stuck in fear, okay? Um, and like this person, they could actually like try to come at you and everything. They could try to talk to you. And it's like you look at this person as manipulative because they won't drop this other person here, pile number one. Um, like, and you're very confused. You're like, you don't want to be in a third party situation. I'm hearing all or nothing, so, like, basically, you want, you know, this relationship or you don't want anything to do with it, right? The thing is, if this person, they know they're going against their intuition, they know they're supposed to be with you, um, they know they're going against their intuition, um, and it's like they're trading their own happiness for somebody else in here, okay, but they feel like that's the right thing to do. Yeah, this person just feels like they want things to go to the next level, but they just feel like they can't do it right now. Yeah, so they're not going for what they truly want, which is you. They're just watching this brand new beginning, okay, and not doing anything about it. They're not walking away. They're ignoring their intuition and staying stuck, okay, in this other connection that is not making them happy. It's toxic pile number one. They're completely in love with you. Completely in love with you. And they want to come forward, but they hold themselves back. Yeah, they feel like they can't do this right now. They feel like that even though they want to jump into this and, you know, go for this and follow their intuition, they just feel like they can't do it. Like, I am seeing that pile number one, like, you're really upset about this because they feel like that, you know, you're everything they want, okay? They feel like you're very beautiful, balanced, 
Um, they want this brand new loving beginning here with you, pile number one. But they feel like it that they can't end something, okay? They're finding it very hard to actually end something else, okay? And walk away from something else to start this brand new beginning. Yeah, they're finding it really hard to make a movement here because they're already in a commitment here, okay? So we're going to leave it there, pile number one. I really hope this resonated. If it did, please let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's move on to pile number two. Hey, pile number two. So let's find out uh, how is your person currently feeling about you. Okay, so I'm getting pile number two. Um, this person, they want to make like they want to make a movement towards you. Okay, you're their wish fulfillment. They want this brand new beginning here with you, but they feel like there's a lot of conflict here. Um, they feel like they've walked away in the past. They did something in the past here that caused something. Maybe you walked away from them. Okay, um, this person, they really want to like reconcile with you. Yeah, okay, so I'm getting the last time that you guys spoke, they could have come off as really harsh. Maybe you guys had a fight, okay? Um, you could be dealing with a Cancer or an Aquarius here, or a Virgo. Yeah, so last time you guys communicated, this person was very harsh towards you, and you could have, like, blocked them, or they could have blocked you. Now this person really wants to communicate, but they're looking at you as the Queen of Wands and the Empress. So they definitely have put you on the pedestal here. Um, they're feeling like you've had some type of major glow up, okay? I'm hearing lost weight, okay? So some of you may have lost weight, okay? Um, from the time that you last seen this person, right? Now it's like, they like so they walked away and the whole time they couldn't stop thinking about like how they wanted to come back, okay? And... A lot of them want to communicate here with you, but they feel like that, again, they put you on a pedestal here. Um, they're really intimidated by you because you've had this glow up. So they, in the past, they were hiding their feelings um, or they did something to completely ruin their chance here, they feel. Um, they also, I am saying, there's definitely um, part number two, two people in your life, okay? You could be seeing somebody else. Um, you could have forgot about this person. Now they're coming back because... They see that you're seeing somebody else. Yeah, so they feel like you may be off the market, okay? Um, and it's like they feel like they've missed their opportunity. They feel like at first they thought it was like just some, some, um, some sort of crush or like this feeling would pass, okay? Or this was like just passion here. Um, and now this person's realizing, no, this is love because they cannot get over you. And I'm hearing they feel like they've burnt their bridges. Some of them just felt this connection to you and never, like, spoke up about it. They could have been, like, you know, entertaining two people or just not going towards what they truly want, which is you. With the Four of Wands and the Ace of Wands, they really want to be with you. They want this beautiful, brand new beginning here with you. They feel a lot of passion about you, okay? They feel like they want to be with you, like they want this union, okay? You make them really excited, yeah. They want the Ten of Cups with you, okay? Yet they're not doing anything about it. They're hiding their feelings. Um, this person, it's like they're acting completely opposite to how they feel, okay? They feel strong feelings towards you, but they don't show that, and they try to act, completely act opposite, okay? Um, they haven't been speaking to you. This person's also a little bit closed-minded, okay? So you could have had an argument, and this person's not really open to apology. Yet, they're really upset without you. Like, they're very stubborn. Yeah, so they could have had, like, two choices here as well. Um, ten of Cups and Ten of Wands in reverse. 
and they chose the Ten of Wands in reverse, and they could have also pretended they were really happy, you know, with this decision, but um, they weren't. They also feel like you guys have a lot, a lot of options, right? And there was, like, there was something about them where they thought you had a lot of options, and they assumed that, like, the, these other options were better options, and that's why they were not going towards you as well, why they're not coming towards you right now, I mean. Um... So this person has a lot of dreams about you, okay? Um, they also pretend they don't see this connection when they fully feel this connection and see this connection. They want things to go to the next level here. They want to communicate here with you, but they're putting a lot of, um, like, fear around the communication. Like, they feel like if they do communicate, like, the worst will come out of it. Like, maybe they'll get, they'll get ghosted or you won't respond or, you know, you will tell them that, no, this is over. You don't feel the same way. Um, they're really worried that this is over because they feel like you're moving on or you have another option here. Um, you have a lot of love to give here. You're very beautiful as well, pile number two. Definitely this could be your divine masculine, right? Yeah, but I am getting... So you have two options here, right? Um, pile number two. You have, like, this divine masculine and then you have this very stable, loyal person, okay, that you may have just started a relationship here. Okay, with and now they feel like that if they do come forward, they're gonna get rejected, okay? But they do feel like the last time you guys spoke, you guys had like a fight. So it's like they don't really feel comfortable coming forward. They it's like this person, they started a fight with you in the past, okay? Um Yeah, like they burnt their bridges in the past and like basically walked away from this and now they wanna come back, but they really don't feel comfortable coming back, okay? Yeah, this person sees you have another option, okay? You have a few other options, but there's this one other option that's very stable, that's showing up, that's loyal, that wants something with you, okay? Where this divine masculine here um, has shown you nothing but manipulation, has showed you nothing but not showing up, has showed you nothing but anger and, like, you know, they seem to be very violent, this divine masculine, right? You could be dealing with an Aries, you could be dealing with a Gemini, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Yeah, they're assuming that this is over. Like, again, they basically cut you off. Now, I'm getting that, like, they could have started a fight with you. It, it was very out of proportion, right? Um, but, yeah, they feel like that you're definitely over this. You've moved on. Um, and they're scared because they can't get over this. They continuously think about you. They continuously go over in their minds about you, pile number two. They also feel a very strong soul connection to you. And I'm getting um, the number 18 and the number 13, okay? And I'm also getting... I'm hearing things are not what they seem, okay? So there could be some some type of deception, right? Um, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius here. Yeah. So this person's like freaking out because they feel like that you're over this, you're thriving, you're moving on, you know, you're glowing up, okay, and they're stuck on this situation, like, they can't get over it, like, this person goes over and over and over in their mind about this, they cannot get over it, they've tried, but they can't, they, <laughs> there's some type of, they don't have any closure or something, like, they need closure or they need to give you closure, that's why spirit won't let them get over this, okay, It's like this person can't get over you, but also they're getting guided to come forward and do something about this, but they won't. They stay stuck in fear. They also assume the worst. Like they're very, they're in this very negative uh, mindset, very low vibration. They're assuming the worst, okay? They're looking, so this connection is very beautiful, you know, it's divinely guided, especially if you're dealing with the divine masculine here. I mean, damn. Um, but this person is assuming the worst. They also. They're very embarrassed because they walked away from this, they walked away from you, they were very um, conflicting, okay, they could have blocked you, cut you off real quick, and now all they want to do is come back and fix things. Then something about um, when you guys touch hands, it's like very electric, okay, um, or just like touch in general I'm getting.
So this person's completely in love with you, but they're in this, like, just watching you and not doing anything about it, like this divine masculine, because they're not sure if you're off the market, if... They feel like you may be with somebody. You definitely have other options, but they feel like there's one that's very close to you, right? And they're not really sure, like, if you're even feeling them anymore, okay? Because they, they're looking at you on social media, and I'm getting on social media, like, you're, you know, acting like you're really happy, um, you know, with this new option. You know, you're not stuck. Like, you used to be stuck on your divine masculine. And I'm getting that, you know, you may have, like, posted shit, like, you know, quotes or something aimed at your divine masculine, and your divine masculine is also always watching you as well. Um, but now, yeah, they they feel like you're happy with another option. Uh, just saying five five five, and now they feel like yeah, they need to do something. But again, they feel like you're off the market. This is breaking their heart. They feel like they've waited too long, and they haven't been going for what they actually want here. Yeah, this person is learning a lot of lessons on how to treat people close to them, okay? Pile number two, so that's all I have for you. I really hope this resonated. If it did, please let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys. Oh, actually, no, we'll go to part number three. Hey, part number three, so let's find out. Um, how do, How is your person currently feeling about you? Okay, so I'm definitely getting you're dealing with somebody that is completely being unfair. Um, they're completely holding back their feelings. They're completely refusing to apologize to you. Like, whatever this person's done, they're completely refusing to see what they've done, okay? If that makes sense. So I'm getting this person. They have a lot of love here for you. But they were playing some type of game here with you, okay? I'm getting that they could have been very quiet about their feelings, okay? Um, like they had a lot of feelings here for you, but they were keeping them to the uh, keeping the feelings to themselves. And I guess they tried to run from this. They could have gone and brought a third party into this. They tried to make you jealous. Like, I don't know if... They tried to make you jealous, okay? Either way, there is some third party that they were trying to make you jealous with, okay? Um, there is no love in that third party situation like this. No, no love at all. Um, I am getting 333. And you could be dealing with a strong Scorpio or a Libra here. So this person completely was playing a game here with you. It was unfair trying to make you jealous, denying their feelings. I'm getting that this person, it was like, maybe they found out that you liked them and like they got real cocky about it and they were like, oh, you like me? Well, let me just like play with your feelings a little bit, right? Um, yeah, definitely unfair behavior here. I'm hearing the name Steve, okay? So, I just heard Steve, I didn't hear Steven, um, but it could be both of those names. Let me know if that resonates. Yeah, this person, like, completely acted well. Like, they had the feeling for you, and they felt like, they felt like um, you're everything that they wanted. But then they played some type of game here. Started talking to other people, denying their feelings. This person got really cocky about... Like, they found out that you had feelings for them, 1919 on the clock, that could resonate. Um, they found out you had feelings for them, pile number three, and they started playing games, like, trying to make you jealous. Like, what is that? Oh, I see what it is. Okay, so... They look at you as the empress, okay? So they feel like everybody wants your attention, you know? Your energy is very um, addicting, very magnetic, okay? Like, 
you draw people to you like a magnet, okay? Um, you have a lot of options. You're very strong. You're very beautiful. This was stressing this person out because they felt like they didn't have other options. But I'm getting that, you know, even though, you know, you have a lot of other options, you felt a very strong connection to this one person. And this one person was being immature and found out that you could have liked them or just maybe they thought that you liked them, okay? And then they wanted you to think, like, make you jealous. And, like, they wanted to play games with you. I don't know who you're dealing with, pile number three. Wow. Yeah, so they did this at first. And I'm getting, okay, something happened here, okay, where you were, like, literally completely walking away from the situation. Like, you were not having it here. Um, and... You know, I'm getting that you could have blocked this person, you know, you could have cut this person off, you know what I mean? Um, you were just not having that, right? You were not playing these games with this person, okay? Um, and I'm getting that you took your power back and basically you could have, you know, started forgetting about this person, exploring your other option. They're definitely in, so there's two kings here, right? Um, one of them loves you and one of them is like a very passionate person okay i'm getting they both have love here for you but this one like is this person that i'll be picking up that was playing games with you they're in love with you but they're not doing anything about it because they feel like they've you know they've ruined their chance here they're playing too many games they were trying to like it was like you gave like you you know you have a lot of options a lot of people are attracted to you and you know you were attracted to this person and you know they just started acting all funny and playing all these games and you didn't expect that from this person at all. You expected them to, um, you know, oh, 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 what is this? Okay, we got the king of one clarified by the queen of one. Wow, okay, so this could be a twin flame soulmate, okay. Um... This person's current energy, like they got two, 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 two on the clock. Um, this person's current energy, they want to go towards this, like right now. Um, I'm hearing they want to seize this opportunity. I usually wouldn't use that. Um, them words, them words. But anyway, um, yeah, they feel a very strong connection here to you. I am getting that that this is a twin flame connection, okay? This person that you're that's playing games with you, like I'm getting for some of you that's a twin flame connection, okay? They had two options as well, like they could play all these games or they could, you know, come and express their feelings, but they decide that they can't, they can't do this right now. This person I'm getting they could have blocked you, cut you off here, because they feel like you have all these options and they're jealous about it. It's like they're hiding their feelings. They're not coming towards you, pile number three. Um, they're literally either playing games with you or you think this is an illusion. And, you know, you're stepping back into your power and now they're mad because, you know, you could be seeing somebody else and not, you know, not playing this game with this person. This person feels like they manipulated their way out of your life, to be honest, okay? Um, by playing games. They were, they really did. Like, they had a chance here with you, and then I'm getting it was, like, really shocking because, like, you gave this person a chance, and it's like, you know, you have a lot of options, um, part number three, you gave them a chance, and then they started, like, acting funny with you and treating you like an option, and, oh, I don't know, they, they completely took a step back in their life, but, like, now they want to come take a step forward again. And they feel like, no, you're not going to want to know who they are. They're literally obsessing over you, though. I'm getting 777. Yeah, they're obsessing over you. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Scorpio or a uh, Cancer as well. This person is really mad at you, okay? Um, they're mad at you because, as I said, you took your power back. You're not... Um, 
you know, you're not stuck on this person anymore. You're not playing this game. You're not feeding into their, you know, toxic game they're trying to play here with you. You could have, like, you know, you could be talking to somebody else. You could have moved on. This person's angry. They're angry at you. They're angry at the person you're talking to. Um, yet they're not making any movement towards you. Like, they're very closed-minded. They're also keeping themselves, like, purposely away from you. Like, isolating themselves away from you here. Trying to make no movement towards you at all, but angry at you because you're talking to somebody else. Like, there is this vibe with this person, they feel very entitled, like, they feel like they own you. Um, now, I'm getting that, yeah, they could be, like, the other half of your soul or a soulmate, but they're feeling like they're, they're very possessive over you, and yet they don't tell you anything. Like, they're just, like, possessing you from afar. Like, they're literally living, like, you guys are already in a relationship, they're possessive over you, and you guys, like, don't talk. Like, <laughs> what is going on here? Um, they're mad at you because you're talking to somebody else too. Somebody that like is showing up and telling you how they, they're ready to be with you. They're telling you how they feel. They want this brand new beginning here with you. So I'm getting, um, you feel a strong connection to both these people. I'm getting there's two people here. Your divine masculine, we'll, we'll call them. Or feminine, your divine counterpart, okay? Or, and this other person that, that could be a soulmate, okay? Or just a, like, close person, right? That you feel a very strong connection to. They could be, like, you know, you could have known them for a long time. Okay, so, the, look, this divine masculine or whatever, his problem is, is he's acting exact, like, the exact opposite, he feels a lot for you, but he's not doing anything about it, and yet he's getting angry over what you're doing. Like, he's acting like he owes you, okay? And I'm getting that you probably don't even know this pile number three because they don't talk to you. They just watch you, and they're mad at you because of what you're doing here in your life. This person, they think that you're their twin flame. Like, they know the word twin flame, and they actually think that you're their twin flame. And this is what's making them mad because you're not, like, running after them. So you could be, like, the runner. They could be the chaser or whatever. But they're mad because you're not running after them. You could be, like, going... This person's showing you nothing, right? They're showing you nothing. No love at all. So, I don't know. It's like they want, to, they want you to feel guilty, though. Because... This is a confusing reading. Like, let me know who this re resonates for. This person's literally showing you nothing, yet they're completely in love with you and they think that they're in a relationship with you because if you're, like, talking to somebody else or whatever, they're mad. They're mad. They're getting... They could, like, even, like, send you, like, angry texts, you know, block you. I'm getting they don't send you no texts. I'm getting they don't talk to you because they're intimidated by you. This person, they see this, like, brand new loving beginning, and they're just ignoring it. They're, because they're scared to talk to you. They're really scared to talk to you guys, okay? They're very intimidated here. They just watch. They watch and they're very quiet. Very quiet, very secretive. Yep, yeah, they don't tell you how they truly feel, okay? They just hold it all to themselves. Um, okay, so that's all I have for you, part number three. I really hope this resonated. If it did, please let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.